welcome to Road Gear Reviews. I'm Julie from RV Love and today I'm reviewing the Instant Pot IP Duo 6 Quart Pressure Cooker. So what is an Instant Pot and what does it do? This is actually a 7-in-1 multi-use programmable pressure cooker. Let's start off with the specs and the size of this unit. It's made of stainless steel. So let's take a look at what comes inside the Instant Pot. This is actually the 6 quart. It does come in three sizes, a 3, 6 and 8 quart. And we got the middle size being the 6 quart. So this is safe and easy to use and nothing to be scared of. So as you can see, there are buttons on the front that really clearly show what type of food it's for, whether it's soup, meat or a stew, a bean or chili dish, poultry. You can slow cook, saute, pressure cook. You can use manual buttons to set it up any way you like. There's a timer, of course, rice, multigrain, porridge, steam. You can even make yogurt in the Instant Pot. And of course, there's a keep warm setting as well. These little silicon rings can sometimes absorb the odors of food that you're cooking, but they're very easy to replace and inexpensive. You can just get those on Amazon. So it's a stainless steel cooking pot with food grade stainless steel and a three ply bottom to ensure even cooking. Today I'm going to show you how this works by cooking a chicken fajita recipe that I found online just today. So I've already pre-prepared the ingredients. Got my chopped chicken fajita sliced chicken breast here, topped with some fajita seasoning. Throwing all of the vegetables on top, I've got onions and bell peppers here, some garlic, tomatoes, and some lime juice. Pop the lid on top, lock the lid into place, set the valve to seal. So this recipe says to either use the poultry setting, which would be 15 minutes, or I can use the manual setting for eight minutes on high. So this is on, you can see low pressure, high pressure. I'm gonna take this down to eight minutes and show you how fast. There you go, it started. So it's gonna take a little bit of time to get up to pressure and then when it gets up to pressure, it'll cook for eight minutes and then it will stop and beep and then we'll use the quick release method to release the vent valve over here. There are two ways to release the vent. One is a natural pressure where you just leave it to come down to pressure in its own time or the quick release which means you turn the valve toward you to open it up and that is when it does steam and sputter a bit but that's why you need to use a dish towel or something to stop you from getting a burn from the steam. So we're going to leave this for a little bit and we'll be back in probably 10 or 15 minutes or so when this is finished cooking and show you how it turns out. All right so this is in the final minute just a word of warning, this is really hot up here on the lid, so just be really careful not to touch that. Only touch the handle. As you just heard, that beeped several times to let you know the cooking was done. It's now going into a timer mode, so we will now, instead of the numbers counting down to say it's still cooking, the number will start going up to say how long it's been sitting in the warm mode. Now let's release the valve. I've got a kitchen towel. I'm going to move this turn this forward to the front of the Instant Pot. This is what's called the quick release. So you saw how quick that was. I'd say about 15 minutes with the eight minutes of cooking and the time it took to get up to pressure. I didn't time it exactly. A couple of minutes to let the uh, valve release. Probably about 15 minutes and it's cooked a whole chicken fajita meal inside one pot. So let's take a look inside. So there you have it, Instant Pot Chicken Fajitas. This is going to be delicious in some tortillas. You could even serve it on rice and of course with some refried beans. That would be pretty tasty. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review and found it helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to put them down below. We'll be happy to answer them. And we'll put the links to this six quart and the other sizes that the Instant Pot is available in down in the video description. And if you have any other suggestions for products you'd like us to review here on Road Gear Reviews, just let us know in the comments below. So until next time, we'll see you on the road.